Guess what we're doing today? Clipping in and clipping out. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you some simple tips so that you can clip in, clip out effectively, avoid confusion even when fatigue begins to set in, which tends to happen sometimes with cycling. And hopefully if we do this stuff the right way, we follow these steps and we develop a works kind of like second nature, we can uh, reduce the possibility of us going down, okay? Um, we're in this together. <laughs> uh, so a couple things that we need to decide beforehand. Number one is we got to decide which leg we're going to clip out. You pick a leg. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Just pick one leg and stick to it. And that's going to be your forever clip out, clip in leg. So first thing. The second thing is we need to have the realization that we're not clipping out both legs. We're clipping out one leg. The other leg is very important. It stays clipped in because it's going to help to reduce the possibility of us falling. It's going to basically work as a counterbalance. So once we've gotten ready, we're rolling and you're approaching or you're close to approaching the point where you're going to stop. Hands are on the hood because we're getting ready to break. As we get ready to break, the first thing that we're going to do is a leg that is not being clipped out. In this case, my left leg goes to the six o'clock position, the bottom stroke. The leg where we're going to clip in is at the top. It's the folded leg. Okay. Now we're ready to clip out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to simply pop our ankle out. So I pop my ankle out okay? and, I, and I keep my foot in the pedal for the time being. As I get ready to stop, I drop my right leg. Okay. Not on the floor. I just bring it down. But what's happening is that this leg is now working as a counterbalance. It's keeping me from toppling over. As I get ready to stop, I raise my butt up and out of the saddle, eyes forward, and I try to time it where I bring down my right leg at the same time that I'm stopping. Now, if the first few times you get the timing off and you drag your foot a little bit, that's no big deal. You don't lose any coolness points for that. Just don't make it a habit. These carbon sole shoes are very expensive, okay? Once we have stopped, we're gonna shift our weight over to the leg that's on the ground, that being the right leg. We're gonna bring the clipped in leg up into the three o'clock position, and you can either rest on the top tube, or you can just simply sit there and wait for, wait for the light to turn green, or you can wait for the group to go, or wait for it to be safe for you to proceed if you're at a stop sign. When you get ready to go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna simultaneously push off the, the ground with the leg that's on the floor and give the leg that's clipped in a little pedal, a little push. So those two things are gonna happen simultaneously because we gotta get a little bit of momentum. So we go wee and we're off. Next thing we do is we find the saddle, we sit back down, and we sit down before we try to clip back in. So now that I'm sitting, the bike is rolling, I go ahead and I clip back in, and I'm gone, okay? That's it. That can happen. By the way, if what just happened to me happens to you, um, one of the things that that happens, just bring the pedal uh, up, give yourself another little uh, push while you're still sitting in the saddle, go ahead and clip in and boom, you're good to go and you've got it. And that, re that really is all there is to it. It's really not that big a deal. Um, I will say something on falling. If you're going to fall, make sure that you hold onto the handlebars as long as you possibly can. Don't try to break the fall with your, with your hand. That's a way to sprain your wrist. Uh, jam up your shoulder or break a collarbone. Slow speed crashes are notorious for that. If you hold on to the handlebar as long as you you possibly can, the bike is going to roll over and you're going to roll. You're not going to smack. So let your hips, your shoulder, helmet do its job to keep you from injuring yourself severely where you'd be off of the bike for a serious amount of time. Okay, so I hope that helps. Simple tips on how to clip in, clip out, uh, leave comments, questions, um, 
pedal debate if you'd like to in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel as we continue to put out good content that help you to become a better cyclist.